Hey guys, welcome to the. Sorry, man. Um, yeah, welcome to the tank channel. Do you guys sometimes feel obligated to wear some of these when driving your Defender? Then this video is for you. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how to soundproof your Defender, and I'll show the results, decibel meters, and yeah, let's take it forward. So I'm going to do this in a few parts because I've been doing this over a long period of time, and basically I want to make sure that I you know i don't skip over anything that's important i'll take you through what i've done in the engine bay basically the bottom of the chassis and how to do all your doors and then the next part we'll do the interior so so yeah welcome and i hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully we can chuck these away driving my BMW and um, I thought I'll just compare to the you know see what the decibel says let's use it as a benchmark to see how close we can get to a, a more modern vehicle okay um, guys so I'm basically ready to start adding the sound editing to the Land Rover Defender I'm gonna start with the the middle road doors on the Defender 110 then move over to the front doors do the rear door then move over to the chassis engine bay and so forth that would all be all the videos I'm going to do for part one. Afterwards, I'll do the interior, like, you know, the roof lining, stuff like that. But, yeah, the tools I'll be using. Okay, so, and then also the tools I'll be using is, you know, the basic stuff to remove to remove door cards and so forth. It's it's really not, not much. And then, basically, what you need for the sound editing is a roller, which helps you to, to make sure it sticks properly. And then also what I'm adding is a contact adhesive. Just get a high quality contact adhesive. I know the cell editing sheets does come basically with, you know, it's sticky on the one side. So you can just stick it once you've cleaned the, um, the panels. But I won't only rely on that, especially within the doors where you don't want it to come loose and give you issues with your window winders. So, so yeah, that's where I am. And let's see where we can take this. Cool. Okay guys, so we're going to remove this door card, we're going to basically open this with a, a flat screwdriver and pop these edges up, like so, then it takes a Phillips, screw it loose, open this, screw that loose, push this in as hard as possible and unclip the circlip or there's a spring clip there and this just pops up and then we'll pull it off, um, it's quite easy but you need to not break anything so so just be careful with it. Okay, up and out, you can see that's how it looks. And then just pop this off. So nothing majors. And now it's just time to clip this off or so. Just pop it up and there we go. And that's it, so... So... This is what the clips looks like, so it's just a matter of pulling them off. And like two popped off, but if you push too hard you can break this section out. So try and do it as well as decent as possible. Always be cautious about it, okay? Okay guys, so the spec I have did come with some soundproofing, but I won't say this is the best. Um, it's got like a tall, I don't know, glue or something in there that you can pull off, but I just find cutting it with a knife works quite nice. And then like I said, you can pull those off with a screwdriver or some tongs and pull them out. And then yeah, we'll stick everywhere we believe we can have some improved acoustics. First things first, um, old cloth or towel, some cement related spirits, and we clean everything we see. So, yeah. So, 
So there's a few ways you can tackle something. You can either just take it and cut accordingly, or you can make a template and then cut templates out and stick it. So the template method works um, on small, funny stuff, but when you've got an area like this, you just take the average size and cut it. Yo. That sounds great. Listen. Okay guys, so on the front door it's very similar, we need to open or loosen those screws with a Phillips screwdriver, pop this off, um, screwdriver there, only difference is there's two of those, I'm not sure what you call it, but you pop the, the let me just see if I can focus there, if you, you take a, something small, thin, push it in and then it pops out, so it's not too difficult, you'll sort that out quite quickly, but let me show you on this one, I think the light's better here. Yeah? Uh, just fine. Okay. okay, so as you can see, push this in. And then you can take a screwdriver and just pop it off. Same on this side, so... Pop it in and then I'll pop it, up, pop it out of the... a flat screwdriver, it should work. If it doesn't pop off, just means you haven't gone in. Okay. Let me just use two hands. front door looks like this um, as you can see I've got the standard ones in but I'll just go over everything and then add on the holes like I did previously and put something over here um, yeah and then finish it up just like the others Just did the front door. This was the last one I had to do. I didn't record everything, but um, I'm sure you guys get an idea how it works. So I'm going to push back the door card, close it up, and then start on the next section. So I want you to listen to the difference. Um, so two doors. And this hasn't been stick yet, so 
just giving you an idea what it sounds like. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick everywhere you can hear the metal sound and then that should be good, even on the higher pieces where it's, if there's a, a lower piece like there, it's not an issue, there not too much, but like there, there, at the bottom there, at the bottom there, I'm going to cut out and stick. I was experimenting with the door cards. If you listen to them, they're quite hollow, even you know if you've done the doors themselves. What I found is if you just stick a piece here, because well, you know, if you're gonna do all this effort, do as much as you can. So I'm just gonna put a piece here, maybe at the bottom, maybe on top there. It all depends, but I've noticed it does make a massive difference if you um, are on the inside of the vehicle. So it does feel a lot more stiff you wanna if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm gonna stick this one and I'm gonna close the rear door. just degreased the bottom of the vehicle and then I've um, used a high pressure cleaner just to to clean it I'll take a towel and just dry some of the big pieces so that I can start um, I want to basically do all the flat metal surfaces that's visible with the eye um, I know not everyone wants to strip um, you know drawers and stuff like that to get to everywhere so I'd like to do everything like that see what the difference is and then we'll go one step further and do it from the inside as well. As we do it, we'll test the decibels and see what the differences are. So once the bottom is done, we'll tackle the inside of the vehicle. Cool. Okay, so let's get under the vehicle. So as you can see, everywhere there was an uh, open sheet. I've, uh, even under here, I removed these and I basically um, put sound opening under them. But yeah, let's, let's go to the front and I'll take you through everything that I've, I've done so so yeah if you can see let me just turn the okay guys so i've taken you to the front and i'm going to show you everything that i've done um yeah so if you can see that's the the blower i actually did it around the blower just to remove the heat out of the the aircon and it actually made a massive difference if i turn the aircon on um you know there's no warm heat and there's a big gap between the the plastic um, to the blower, so if I actually fill that gap with putting sound deadening over it, and yeah, I'll show you from from above what that looks like. But it's yeah, I can't believe how much different. I thought it's just that you know how it is, but it's actually been sucking air through the gap out of the engine bay into the the cabin, and that's why I always had to have the aircon on it or coldest just to make a difference so so yeah everywhere i could literally get my hands in um you can see i've driven but 
I put as much around the transmission as I could. And, um, unfortunately, I had to drop the transmission to do the slave cylinder because that went. I did that off camera, unfortunately. I didn't have the tools to do it all the time. And I got a friend of mine to, to help me with that. And did a slave cylinder and now everything is perfect. So, so yeah, if you can can have a look here. Let me just zoom, zoom out a bit. But basically all around the all around the foot wells and that takes the heat out of the cat from the cat um, just takes the heat out of the cabin and it makes such a big difference um, yeah so everywhere I could as I go down you'll you'll see everywhere above the transfer case you know everywhere so what I've done is I've cleaned it with a with a high pressure cleaner um, and basically just put some degrease on it cleaned it again and to use some contact glue to stick it on. I know it's double-sided, but you don't want it to come off. So I just make sure I'm using the, the right stuff. And then all the way to the back, there's one or two places I didn't do, but for instance, that's below the, the seat. So that's easy to do from the cabin. And then if you go that side, I've done as much as I can, as I could in the sections above you know the wheel arches so so yeah ex exciting times um so let's see if there's anything else yeah you can see i did as much as possible um, i don't want to drop the tank or anything to do that so sections but i don't think anyone would like to do that so okay guys so when i said i did the the pipe work to the blower i actually meant i really did the pipe work to the blower I, it makes such a big difference because it doesn't only insulate the noise um, or reduce the noise it actually seals the hole in that that box and it it keeps the heat out from the engine bay so the air you're pulling into the the cabin is much cooler you know so so yeah then this stp is called diesel stop it's it's a foam base that you can put on top of the sound deadening and it's it made a massive difference um you know it's the first thing you do is the bonnet because the amount of noise coming through the bonnet is substantial it's easy to underestimate what comes through the bonnet um, into the cabin so please feel free to comment i'd like to get everyone's inputs okay guys so that concludes where are, where we got to the land river defender on for part one and yeah as you can see there's the results um, for the latest drive I did and the Dezabels has come down substantially. Okay, so bear in mind we've only done the chassis, bonnet, engine bay and that's about it for this series. Um, also on my vehicle, because it's a Puma, there is some layers of sound deadening and the carpets do help a lot. So just bear that in mind if you've got a Defender that's bare to the bone. Also my middle ray seats below the footwell, uh, on the footwell in the middle row seats there is some, some sound deadening sticked under the carpet so just bear that in mind and it's not only the sound that improves it's the acoustics in the vehicle so when you talk to someone it sounds better and also the heat in the vehicle is substantially lower your legs don't burn anymore you barely use your aircon and yeah so stay tuned for part two i'll be doing the inside of the vehicle just to note i have driven the car without the carpet now to get some quotes on on carpeting and stuff like that and it is horrific it's very loud so yeah stay tuned let's see how we can attack that and make sure that you know going forward with this vehicle it's a dream to drive okay guys if there's any questions please pop them on the, the channel i'll try and answer them in, in part two and then yeah please if you like the videos please like it it does help the channel and it does help the channel to grow and i also appreciate it if you guys would subscribe it does help me to be motivated to do more videos like this there's a few good things coming um happening that's already been done just need to get the videos out and finalize a few things but yeah guys thanks for, thanks for watching have a good one